Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are actually up in Glendon, Minnesota, which is just outside of Fargo, North Dakota. Um, and we're at SRD Auto, where um, you guys saw last year, we we're on the hub dyno. So we've got the car back up here with the new engine, uh, the fuel uh, you know, adjustments we've done and everything. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully make some power on this. Wanted to take a quick minute and thank one of our new partners for 2022 for Bad Influence Garage, and that partner is the 1320 Marketing Group. Now, 1320 Marketing Group has came on board and they're taking uh, all of our crew and our pit and they wanted to bring us to the next level of making it look like a more professional and put together team. So they got us a new pop-up, a uh, new merchandise table cover, uh, we have new flags that we're going to have in our pits, as well as what you see that I'm wearing, I have our new hooded sweatshirt. This is gonna be for some of our crew members that uh, have wanted one of these. Uh, we also have our new crew shirts. They also got us regular t-shirts, so this is a, a long sleeve style t-shirt, all sublimated, same design on there, and even our flags that you guys have seen on the channel um, that's up on the website as well. Uh, so if you wanna have one of those sublimated deals um, in your garage and support the channel as well. But uh, thank 1320 Marketing Group um, so much for coming on for 2022. If you're looking to take your team to the next level, the website is right here. Give them a call. They can handle a lot of the design. And they, or if you already have an idea, they're willing to take and work with that as well. Give them a holler and they will definitely make you look, you know, as good as your car runs. All right, guys, we're going to be making our first pull here. This is going to be wastegate only. Um, just want to verify everything's working, our data logger's working and everything correctly. So, um, as you see, I've got my suit on, at least the jacket, and I'm going to put my helmet on. That way uh, we stay safe in case there's a fire or anything like that, because you never know what will happen. So you guys just saw the uh, second pull we did. Um, now I'm under the car. Uh, we're pulling the drive shaft out because a uh, weight came off of the drive shaft in the middle of the pull. Um, and then we want to be able to take a look at that and see if we can fix it or find someone or anything like that. So, hey Al, yes, sir. can you put this in, uh, in park for me? You guys have seen a couple of uh, pulls here. Um, we just made a pull. Um, everything kind of goes off of back or uh, dome pressure. Um, so we put 25 PSI on the dome and uh, it made 20, 2150 something, 2150 in that area. Uh, the drive shaft, it's holding up uh, for the temporary fix. So that's great. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit more to it. Last year, we had 44 pounds on the dome to make the big pr pressure there. Um, probably gonna end up seeing maybe 50 pounds on the dome to you know, possibly hit our goals. So we're gonna go ahead and make some changes, get back in there, 
but uh, we also still need to take you guys up and show you the SRD Mustang. So uh, we're here, uh, this is the sales area of SRD Auto, um, and uh, they got this sweet Fox Body Mustang sitting here, uh, but Matt Sandbeck, the uh, owner of uh, SRD over here, now SRD stands for, it's Sandbeck Race Development. Sandbeck Race Development. So um, Matt, tell us a little bit about your business here, how long have you had it, and kind of what, what you got going on? Uh, we started like eight, nine years ago, it's a lot smaller shop in West Fargo. Um, doing mainly like performance builds on cars. We bought the drag strip 2018, um, built this new shop, uh, 24,000 square feet, and we've kind of, we've got more techs, a lot more people now, and we are transitioning into general repair as well. Oh, you can see the tow truck in the back as well. And do kind of just about everything. Now, this is, this is Matt, this is your personal car. Yep. Right? In the shop car yep. on here? So uh, last year we came up here, the car was kind of a part and this was a little bit different combination. And basically we had turbo 5.3s and we were pushing them extremely, extremely hard and we couldn't find any sort of motors. So when you came up last year, it was nope. like February last year? February, no, yeah. Mike Kritzky was with you. Yep. And then we were looking up big block combinations and stuff and I would say 65, 70% of this conventional build was on our wholesalers so that made huge influence that and you guys just switched to a big block single this is a precision 118 and then this is a 540 conventional um, 24 degree big block Chevy and you've had it on the same hub dyno we, we were on on there what uh, would you make and what kind of booster you at uh, it was like 1950 something like that on like 19 pounds boost so way more efficient and, mm -hmm. and more power than what the LS's were yeah it makes more power than the LS did on 14 pounds. <laughs> well, Matt, thank you for having us up here, man. This no is no problem at all. It was a good time. You guys just saw the pull we made, uh, 2,475, just shy of 2,500 uh, horse on that. Um, and that was with 35 PSI on the dome. Um, and that gave us about 26 to 27 pounds of boost. So we're gonna stack probably another 10 to uh, 10 PSI on the gates um, and see where it's at. That should get us really close to that 26 to 2,700 range where we were last year. So guys, uh, we're getting ready to leave. Yeah, the last video you saw there, uh, the last clip, uh, we made 2,750 horsepower. Now we did have a goal, we were trying to hit 3,000 horsepower, uh, but having the drive shaft issue that we had where that took up a couple of hours, um, and it was close to the end of the day here, and the guys, they wanna go home, it's Friday night, so um, we decided not to uh, go ahead and push it. We made eight pulls today, figuring everything out, finding all the issues. That was great. Um, last time we were up here, we made like 20 poles or something stupid, so that, a lot better when it's that. The only reason we were trying to get that 3,000 number was just so we could say we hit it. Well, you know what? We're 250 horse away. We have more than that to add a drivetrain loss on this thing, so we know we're making 3,000 horse. We just don't have that graph that says to the tires. Maybe another time, but uh, we want to make sure that we have plenty of counts left on these rods for when we head down to Georgia in case we have a whole bunch of testing going on down there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead get this kind of packed up and out to uh, the trailer. We are back in the shop um, And we've kind of got the car back in here looked at everything and Dad and I we've had some time to look over data and the laptop and do some work that uh, need to be done on here. Yep 
Um, it was a great time up there. Uh, really cool because we did more horsepower. We did almost 100 horsepower more than we did in 2021. And we did it on two pounds less boost. So we have, we'll put it up here. In 2021, we did 2,661. And this year we did 2,750. Um, and that was 32 versus 30 pounds of boost. So pretty cool there. What, uh, what would you say your, your top two things from going up to uh, SRD's dyno would be? The things I found on there was the fact of our fueling, our fuel curve and our fueling issue of not having enough fuel possibly last year. We know that we found that. So that was a very good thing. The other thing that we were able to do is play with a little bit of timing yeah. uh, here and there. And that also gave us more information to go on. So I give uh, credit to Ryan Keller, one of the tuners up there. Yeah. Um, he was awesome. He said, you know, hey, let's try this. Let's put the, uh, let's put some timing to it here. Let's do this and that. And was looking at the data with us. And uh, it was, it was really nice. To, uh, to have his expertise and, and knowledge up there as well. I'd say the, the two things that I took away from, you know, going up there and putting it back on the dyno was we were able to find any of the issues before we hit the track. Like we Absolutely. had the issue with the drive shaft, verifying that all of our wiring is still good. Um, dump valve was working, all of our outputs were working. Um, you know, before you hit the tracks, so you don't find those issues when you get there. So. Right, right. I want to give a shout out to 1320 Marketing Group. They've come on board with us and they've really helped get our program more professional, if you want to call it that. Yeah, you can see throughout the whole video, we have I have the new sweatshirt yeah, on and everything, and um, you had yours on. We were going out to dinner, and it, everybody, yeah. like, they, they definitely see that, and they go, wow, what, what are these guys there? So it's yeah. more than just uh, having something at the track to wear. It's even wearing it out when you're with, out in public. Yep. People definitely notice that. We do have uh, about two to two and a half weeks before we head out of here to go to Lights Out 13 in Georgia. So we will have a little bit of maintenance stuff here. We have a couple of other uh, fun videos uh, going up there. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing and liking. We appreciate all of it. Until next time, guys, be safe out there.